Hey kids, Singleteen here, and just like everybody else in the world, this week we decided to go see Wonder Woman. We were going to do a double feature of Wonder Woman and Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but unfortunately my brother's irrational fear of raccoons carrying machine guns kept us from doing that. However, we did stop by a uh, burger place called The Cowfish out at Universal City Walk. And I wanted to talk about that also, just in case anybody decides to travel over this direction. My brother and I used to have this uh, website, this uh, little blog we called Three Fat Guys Eat Disney. And we decided, hey, you know, someday we got to bring this up again. And I figure, you know what, I'm going to include this little review of the cowfish on the Wonder Woman thing. Because it's what we did before the movie. And the cowfish is basically a burger and sushi joint that had well it also combines into something called burgushi where they have regular meats in sushi form when you go in you either take an elevator or the stairs up to the dining area the booth is comfortable you have an op option of eating inside or outside it was hot so we decided hey air conditioning would be better so we sat down like I said comfortable booth very spacious liked it uh, had a view of uh, city walk which was nice so the atmosphere was not bad the waiter was friendly. Uh, the big problem came from the fact that from the time we sat down to the time the food came to us, an hour had passed. It took forever to get the order, and by the time we got the burgers, we had to rush. We had to get out. So while we ate it, we picked off the food and such. My brother's fries were dead already. They, were, they didn't even come to the table hot. They were done. And he says that there's no way for you to actually eat the burger. You have to break up the components because it's just too big. You can't eat it like a normal burger. So you don't get everything that they are saying is on the burger. Instead, you get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, once again, just because of the sheer size of it. Just about the same as what my nephew got, which was the cowfish has left the building, which is the Elvis burger, the bananas and peanut butter and such. He said it was okay. Uh, but none of us really got to eat their burger in the restaurant because we had to get to the theater, so we all had it a little bit later than we should have. Well, okay, I got to eat my burger because if I'm going to be waiting 20 minutes for a check, I'm damn well eating my damn burger. And uh, it's a blackened brie burger. It's got blackberries, brie cheese, a little honey glaze. It tastes good. It was very well prepared. The, the fries did suck. The edamame here sucks. Edamame, whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, side items are horrible. Would I try this place again? Yes, just to give them a second chance on the service. Unfortunately, I would I recommend it? To, not at this point. They have to do something to impress me because uh, with, with the size of the burgers and everything and uh, the fact that you couldn't get all the components on my brother's and uh, the other burger... There are a lot of flaws here that would keep me away, except mine was good, so I would have to give it another shot, I, you know, but I can't recommend it to anybody else. So if you've been to the Cowfish, hey, put it in the comments. I'm pretty sure that we're a, an anomaly on this. Let me know what was your experience. Let me know how you liked it. And so we were off to the theater. We got there as the previews had started. We only saw half of a preview for a movie called the... Uh, Hitman's Bodyguard with Ryan Reynolds and Sammy Jackson and it looked good but what surprised me was the Justice League was not in 3D I thought it for sure certainly would put that one in 3D because we did see the 3D uh, showing of it but however Valerian was and oh my god that looks gorgeous I really want to see that movie now but enough about that what about the star of the show the Wonder Woman movie. I'm going to say right now, spoiler alert, because I'm going to be talking about it. I'm excited about it. I had fun with it. And I cannot be sure that something will not slip. So just be warned. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to make this a spoiler heavy review, but you never know. You could tell by the excitement in my voice, I loved this movie. I really did, and I was talking oh my gosh I can't believe we're seeing Themyscira on the screen it's so great it's so wonderful now there was some cheesiness in these scenes with a little girl doing the karate fight to get everything but still it was a lot of fun and I loved that Robin Wright is an Amazon warrior the the trainer the biggest the general the baddest of all Amazon asses I have to say there are so many weird casting choices that absolutely worked in this movie and that was one of them you watch house of cards would you think that she's going to be an amazonian badass no 
But there she is, and it's awesome. I loved it. I'm telling you, I'm going to say that a lot during this little review here. The sets and set pieces on Themyscira were just gorgeous. I mean, it, it is incredible. And watch this in 3D. It adds to it. Trust me on this. It's not a bad conversion. It is a it is done very well for 3D movies, or for the 3D special effect, whatever you want to call it. It looked gorgeous. Are there problems? A little bit. They use the slow mo combat thing a little bit too much in the first battle. It really you had to get used to it. It it just happened over and over again. It was almost as if Patty Jenkins was trying to direct this movie in a way that would get her the best meme or the best uh, wallpaper for her computer screen because there was a lot of that. It would be like, oh, fight, fight, slow down. Excellent shot, by the way, and then continue. Uh, almost like she was trying to out Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder. The big difference is Patty Jenkins didn't forget about story and character. Most of that character and characterization comes during the fish out of water scenes there's a lot of fish out of water scenes where diana is in the city trying to uh get her way to aries and you know she's learning the customs these are the ones you see in the preview she meets this secretary here and such and it's a it's a lot of fun it's a very good scene and, and this is for the this is like the second half hour of the movie or so but it really kicks into gear at that one scene where you see her climb over the ladder and she goes into the middle of the battlefield, the no man's land. From that point on, the movie is in high gear. It, you see, I mean, this is where it is just Wonder Woman becomes wondrous. And it, it's everything you want to see. It really is. From that point on, the way she fought with the lasso was cool. And, you know, thanks to her being a soldier the fighting looked it looked right it looked like you know this isn't somebody who learned it for the movie this is somebody who learned it and then made a movie and it looked that way she looked very natural in the fighting scenes and then towards the end she picked up a tank and i couldn't have been happier as if she just started playing catch with it with linda carter's wonder woman that's the only thing that would have made me happier at that moment guys i enjoyed the hell out of this film and that's obvious was it flawless? No, it wasn't. Like I, I mentioned before, the 3D, uh, well, no, the 3D was great. What I mentioned before was the, uh, the slow-mo. That got a little distracting on times. And Gal Gadot, God bless her. She is Wonder Woman, but she is not the greatest actress in the world. Uh, although you can watch as she learned how to be a good actor during the filming of this movie because she starts off a lot weaker than she ends up. And the higher caliber the actor or actress she's near, the more this particular flaw shows. However, she embodies the character. She really does. And I do see her improving. Even in the movie itself, you can see her improving. So in future incarnations of future sequels in the Justice League, I'm sure she's got this down. And it is a very small nit to pick because it really does not affect the enjoyment of the movie. The other nit to pick is the handling of Dr. Poison because she's so built up in the beginning only to be forgotten about for like two acts. And then she's brought back in the uh, final act and it almost seems as if, as if uh, it was like, oh yeah, remember she was in the movie. We have to do something with her here at the end. And that's the only reason why she made it to the end. Otherwise, yeah, I, I wasn't a, a big fan of the way they handled her, but once again, it did not affect the overall enjoyment of the movie. Ares was another one of those casting choices I never would have made. However, it completely worked. So I really enjoyed the finale. It, it was wondrous. It was amazing. I loved this film. Gosh darn it, I want to see it again. So anyway, that is my thought about it. It's just fun. It's what we've always wanted out of a Wonder Woman movie. I can't believe we had a barbed wire, an Ant-Man, a uh, who, who else, Spirit movie before we got a Wonder Woman movie. It is incredible. Go see it, guys. As a matter of fact, bring 250 of your friends so you can make a guys-only showing of Wonder Woman. Anyway, what did you think? You obviously know I loved it. What did you think of the Wonder Woman movie? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Why did you hate it? Why did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, please click like share please share and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything and thank you very very much for watching